Welcome to the Madhouse. That is me trying to finish 14 different projects in one month. I said 12 in the last video in the introduction, but I forgot the patchwork and I also forgot that I still have a knitting project that is in progress for over two years that I need to finish. And it's going to be an absolute mess and it's going to be a lot of unpicking and figuring out and just trying to do my best on finishing these things. Enjoy! I've got these two dresses, two skirts. These will be completely refashioned. These just need some adjustments. What they all have in common is that I need to unpick, well except for that one because I already did that. Both of us all need unpicking and it's gonna be, well this one's gonna be easy. That one doesn't need a minute. Those two are going to be absolute messes. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with that one. I'm going to put it on real quick so you can see what's wrong with it. And then I'm going to start unpicking. It's a bit wrinkled and I don't have it completely zipped up. But just to give you an idea, I think I'm going to do a little bit more than I expected on this one. Because you can kind of see the ridge from the like facing that I put in here. So I think what I want to do is just do a lining up until like there ish and then put cups in um this is kind of the problem i have spaghetti straps and that's my brass strap so i have cups that i want to put in this but now i see i do need to unpick a little bit of this i think i do have some fabric left so and i still have this better so that's great that's awesome i can do that should be fine but that's going to be a little bit more work than i expected so here's this one and i absolutely love this one I think it's very, very chic and classy and elegant. It was supposed to be short sleeve and long skirt, and I kind of flipped that, made it long sleeve, short skirt. The problem with this one, I'm going to try to show you. This side is really nice, fits perfectly. This one is loose. Like, you can kind of see it here. I don't know if you can see this. But I think I need to take out like maybe a centimeter here. And I said I was going to do it from like here. But I think I've changed my plans on it. I'm going to do it from the shoulder. Because I think that'll actually create a better result. Since if I do it here, I have tucks here. And those tucks are now perfectly lined up right here. And I want that to stay. So I need to do it in the shoulder. I need to do it right here. Which means I have to unpick this bit here. In the outer fabric but also in the lining because the bodice part of this is lined. Take it in, probably take it up with maybe a centimeter, I need to measure that. I think a centimeter should be enough and then it should be fine. But this is all stitched with a stretch stitch which means it goes forward, backwards, forward, forward. And that is a hell to unpick. And I might actually start with this one so I have the worst one out of my way. Okay, so it looks a bit funny without the pocket hoops that are supposed to go below it. I made this for a friend who modeled for me, but like I said, I don't like the fabrics that I have for it anymore, so I'm going to put everything away, and I'm going to use this fabric to make a blouse. And this is just unpicking, but it's not that much, because the hem is done with running stitches by hand, so it's going to be fun to pull out. Okay, so project number one. It actually does not look that bad, but I just, I don't like it as much as I thought it would. So I need to unpick this whole thing and just see what I can do with it, how much fabric I have and if I can do what I want to do with it.
I've got everything that I need to unpick unpicked and I think I'm gonna start with the green dress because I've actually figured out with the way I've constructed it it's rather simple to do that alteration and put it back together so we're gonna go do that I don't know what has happened but I think the last time I filmed it was the 2nd of December and it's now the 6th oops I know I spent Saturday and Sunday working on that commission and I think that ever so slightly wiped me out enough to have to take yesterday off, kind of. And now I still have a lot to do. I still have to do the alterations to those two. And I haven't even started on the other two. Okay, so let's do this now and then hopefully I can start cutting out the blouse. I just finished sewing the emerald green evening dress and that's the amount of thread I have left. If I have to unpick anything and I've already had to do that, this is going to be a mess. That looks a whole lot better now. It doesn't gape that much anymore. It's gaping ever so slightly on this side, but I mean, it should be fine. I think what I would like to do now is I want to get rid of these and I'm going to see if I can find some tool, like bridal tool in a nude color and put that like up until where my finger is right now. But I probably have to make a big trip for that. And right now that's not in the cards. So this one will have to wait for the final improvement. Bright's tool. I'm going to see if I can find something online. And if I cannot, I probably have to make my way over to... I think probably Amsterdam. Okay, it's a little awkward for me to film, but I'm going to put it out anyway. I've got pins here and there. What I basically did was I put on the dress, I took off my bra... Put it on the way I want it to sit and then I shoved the cups in. And that's basically where I want them to go. So I'm gonna sew them in now. Okay, it looks weird. They're pinned in. See the black marks from my previous attempt. Now I think all the things I need to do is like all hand sewing. So I'm gonna do that later tonight with a movie on the screen. I do need to press a little bit there, cut some away. So I'm gonna do that first. But I'm gonna do that off camera because it's a little messy there right now. Both of them are done. I, however, completely forgot to film. So I think I filmed a little bit of stitching this it's shoulder, which has now been pressed, and I've restitched the lining in at the sleeve. So that now all looks good. Cut the cups in. I can press this all out, that'll go away with heat got enough space there it's been tacked in you can kind of still see them there but that's fine and I've now tacked down the facing as well but now I still have two projects to finish before technically before Thursday wish me luck and that's where I'm gonna end this video otherwise it would be way too long I think for this series I'm kind of gonna upload as I go it's probably a week later from the last clip you've seen and I still do not have the other projects finished. I really need to pick up the pace but I've been away for a weekend. You know what? It does not need explanation. Things are getting done. Soon. And I'll update you whenever I have an update. See you in the next one.